if you know Terrence, you gotta read between the lines. He's literally talking about meeting up with Tail wherever he's at and kicking his ass. <laughs> This is Boxing Scene's Top Stories, only on Pro Box TV, your boxing channel. I'm George DiMatteo. Quick reminder to download the Pro Box TV app where apps are available to get all the great content that we have here on Pro Box TV. Well, speaking of content that's been pretty entertaining, there's a good social media going back and forth between Terrence Crawford and Teofimo Lopez. They are taking shots at each other on X, Twitter, whatever it's called. It has certainly been entertaining. Here's the, the first shot in the Crawford Teofimo Lopez back and forth from Bud himself. He says, quote, I respect all fighters, but Teofimo Lopez only fought three fighters worth even talking about, and that's Lomachenko and Ortiz beat him. Taylor lost his fight before Teo and definitely should have moved up to 147, but we all know why he killed himself to make 140. Now here's what Teo responded to Terrence Crawford. He says, we either lace up the gloves or shut your whole ass up. Hashtag enough talking at Terrence Crawford. Now here's what Terrence Crawford said in response to that, saying, quote, show me I'm a hoe when I see you, the, the, the question mark smiley face. Okay, I don't know what that means. You, you need, somebody, need some money, little bitch boy. You can't fight nobody and you know it. Just trying to keep your name relevant. Top rank got you where you're getting bleeped, you little bitch boy. I, I won't go that far with the cusses. Then Terrence again said, now you said you'll fight me for free, right? Then was your words not minds. Here's what Teo said in response to that. Absolutely. What I said remains like I told you before in front of you. The whole world needs to watch me beat you, not just word of mouth. You A-side. It's what we doing. I'll fight you for free in capital letters. Hashtag boxing. Then finally Crawford ended it saying, what's the location? You're doing too much talking. I'm trying to see something. Your daddy said you hit hard without the gloves. I'm trying to find out. You don't deserve to share the ring with greatness. All you deserve is a good old-fashioned ass whooping so I can teach you something you diddy didn't. I think he meant daddy because you don't want to go there with diddy. Enough said. <laughs> now, <laughs> to talk about this back and forth, we have the world champions joining us here. We have Chris Algieri. We got Pauli Malinaji. No diddy. And, yeah, no diddy. <laughs> and Sean <laughs> Porter. Showtime Sean Porter here on Top Stories. All right. Pauli, without the diddy, no diddy, and we won't go there. Now, uh, what do you make of this back and forth between Teofimo Lopez and Terrence Crawford? And could it possibly lead to a fight someday? I don't know if it's going to lead to a fight, but it's always interesting. You know, it, the, the, it's funny. We live in the generation of social media. And in the generation of social media, we get to see these little inner beefs that probably in the old days would have happened through he said, she said, and somebody's, you know, word of mouth going around and, and, and somebody else hearing about it and whatnot. Now you get, we get to see it directly played out right in front of us and so on social media. So it could bleed to a fight. Sometimes it has led to fights and sometimes it has not. Um, Tail saying he'll fight for free. I mean, I, I, I always like when, you, when you're offering stuff like this, winner take all, so somebody gets paid, you know? Why not do a winner take all? And usually most commissions won't let you do a winner take all. So you could do like, the loser gets like $1,000. That way it's not winner take all. Technically, you're not breaking any commission rules. And the, and the winner gets all the money. You know, you could, you could do that. You know, I think, that's, I think that's more ballsy, you know? I remember that's what I offered McGregor years ago. That way he didn't go for that one, obviously. But I think that, you know, that's probably the best way you do it. You don't want to say you fight for free because there is money in the pot and somebody would get it if the fighters don't get it. But, you know, when you do winner take all, it raises the stakes a little bit. And I think these guys have enough of a beef where you possibly make it interesting. Chris, what do you make of this back and forth between Teofimo Lopez and Crawford, and could it lead to a fight someday? I, I've, been, I've been on, not really on the fence. I've been pretty adamant that this is not, fight's not going to happen. But the more and more we, we, we read these things and see these guys actually beefing with each other in, in person over at the, uh, I think they're at the UFC, at the uh, UFC fight when they were, yeah. uh, yes, the, the night of the Canelo fight. I believe they got into an argument there. Yeah. You start seeing these guys doing this stuff in person. You start seeing that carrying over and staying, staying alive on social media. And more and more, it's, it's, we don't know what Crawford's going to do next. He's looking for the Canelo fight, but that may not be there. Are there other big names for him to fight? If she fights some of these 154-pounders, or do I jump down and, and, and go fight this smaller guy who's been, who's been calling me out? So I, I don't know. I, again, I'm still leaning towards no, this fight never happens, but these kind of things keep, keep occurring. We keep seeing this staying in the, in the public eye. Who knows? It might happen. Sean, what do you think about this situation here? I, I man, I, Paulie had me over here cracking up because he just 
he fed right into everything that they've been giving us on social media. Um, I think that uh, Teofimo fought himself out of the fight when he fought Jermaine Ortiz. I think that his showing against Jermaine did not um, uh, 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 validate him being able to get in the ring with Terrence Crawford. I think had he looked spectacular against uh, um, uh, Ortiz, we actually would have seen this fight. I don't think we see this fight anymore. Uh, uh, I think that Terrence... You got to, if you know Terrence, you got to read between the lines. He's literally talking about meeting up with Tail wherever he's at and kicking his ass, <laughs> which is as far as I believe Terrence is going to go with this. I don't that's, think Terrence. That, I mean, Chan, that's all fine and dandy, but Tail always has a habit of underperforming against guys with lesser names and, and overperforming against guys with bigger names. So you know, this true. is what makes this fight interesting. Tail needs that kind, needs a Terrence Crawford to get up to that level. And Very true. His, 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 his resume tells you that for a fight like this, he gets up and he brings his best. It's, it's, it's if Crawford wasn't of this level that you'd have to worry if Tail Fimo wasn't going to show up uh, and in, in his best form, mentally and physically. But this kind of level against the Terrence Crawford, where everybody would count him out, and, and then there would be this beef and back and forth, you know what? You would expect the best Teofimo Lopez to show up. Well, then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and applaud both of them because if they understand that and they're actually setting this fight up themselves for this thing to happen, it's conceivable because what we're going to say as journalists is we've always seen the best version of Teo against the best opposition he could he, he's in the ring with. He's always his best version of himself. And then on the other side there, you got a, a Terrence Crawford who we know is pretty much on his way out. And I think that this is a fight that actually could sell. So um, I'll go ahead and applaud them both if they end up making this thing happen and they get paid the way that they're supposed to get paid because this is a fight statistically, realistically, it's not supposed to happen. In large in part because of Teofimo Lopez versus Jermaine Ortiz, uh, was that earlier this year? Yeah, and he did. Yeah, he was a little bit. He won against Claggett as well, but it wasn't as convincing as a lot of people would have liked. There, as also, sure. Paulie, you have a way with words. So I'm going to ask you this: If you had Twitter and social media, how would you be handling this situation here with, with Crawford? If, if you were either Teofimo Lopez or Crawford. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it's it's tough to be able to give that kind of answer when you're not behind the scenes and you don't know all the details. You know, I don't know exactly what the beef was about when they were at the UFC fight night. I don't know, uh, you know, exactly what's behind this. I don't know if they're maybe doing this on purpose. I don't know if this is genuine. Um, I don't know if Crawford has anything nego being negotiated on the, on the side that may be bigger and, and he doesn't want to give Tofimo the fight because he's got something bigger that he's trying to negotiate, but he's trying not to let that out of the bag because it could be a big surprise. I don't know if, if, if Teo is literally doing what I just said, which is trying to get the biggest fight possible because that's the only way you get the best version of him. So it, without knowing the ins and outs, if, if I'm on the inside of this and I, if I was on, on, uh, in, in, in this beef and I was one of these guys, that means I would know the inner, the inner details. And so I would be able to better uh, you know, use my ability to trash talk. Being on the outside looking in, you, you don't have the whole storyline. So it's hard to say, okay, I, you got to do this. So I would say this. So you know what? I would come back at him with this. Without knowing the full storyline, it's an incomplete answer. So let me ask you guys quickly. Each of you, I want a quick answer here. What would you rather see? Crawford, Telfimo, or Crawford, Canelo? Starting with you, Polly. Crawford, Telfimo. Okay. What about you, Chris? Crawford, Telfimo, or Crawford and Canelo? Same. I'd rather see Telfimo and Crawford. And uh, Sean, you gonna make it a clean sweep? What do you think? Unanimous, baby. Okay. Yeah, certainly. I think it would be a great fight to see Crawford and and uh, Telfimo Me get too. in the ring. That would be big fun mm -hmm. there. Yeah. TC versus Tail. TC versus Tail. Yep. Let's see if they keep trash talking on, on social media to make it happen. Guys have talked themselves <laughs> into fights before, yeah. so it's not unheard of. Yeah. And now winner take all. Winner take all. No, no one fighting for free, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if there are any further developments as we pass, hopefully we get closer to maybe a Crawford tail female fight. We will tell you about him here on Top Stories. We'd like to remind you to scan the QR code, like and subscribe, and leave a comment on our YouTube channel. Download the ProBox TV app where apps are available because on YouTube and on ProBox TV, you get the best live fight series and Wednesday night fights. And also, you can also check out what the information we have and get some good insights about the upcoming fight between Bakram Murtazaliev as he puts his IBF super welterweight title on the line against Tim Zhu. We'll see if Tim Zhu can get a 
belt back, a world championship belt after he lost to Sebastian Fundora. That is going to be fun. You can see it on Prime Video, October 19th, the IBF super welterweight title fight between Tim Zhu and Bakram Mortazaliev. Should be a great one from Orlando, Florida. I am George Dimitellis, and this is Boxing Scene's Top Stories. Wednesday Night Fights. Dynamite action on Wednesday Night Fights every other Wednesday on your boxing channel. Coming up on your next Wednesday Night Fights, October 16th, Chris Primetime Colbert and Omar Super Salcedo step into the ring for what is sure to be a barn burner. Live from the ProBox Event Center in Plant City. Get your tickets at ProBoxTV.com or take your chances at the door. Wednesday Night Fight. Boxing superstar Tim Zhu is coming to Prime Video. Don't miss this championship showdown as Zhu takes on undefeated Murtaza Liao for the super welterweight world title. Saturday, October 19th, streaming live exclusively on Prime Video for all Prime members. For more Pro Box TV, scan the QR code on the screen or go to the App Store and Google Play. Pro Box TV, your boxing channel.